Here's uh, Joe in Orangeburg, New York, as we uh, we head to the phones. Great to have you, sir. Welcome. Hey, Mega Dittos, Rush. I'm uh, really happy to be on your show. I love your show. I, w- I listen to you every single day. Thank you, sir, very much. I appreciate that. That's a very I, nice I was, suck up. I was calling because I, I, I never disagree with you, and I technically don't disagree with you, but I, I think what you said earlier about why you think Trump may have lost was because of his you know indications where he you know he was showing signs where he was going to make deals you know, with uh, Pelosi and, and, and the, you know, the liberal establishment. Um, I agree with that. I, I, I do think that that affected him it, as far as, you know, his numbers last night. But I think um, as far as the debate, I, I don't think it's because he didn't go to the debate. I think it's because of why he didn't go to the debate. You know, the fact that he was afraid, I, in most perce- perceived minds, I think, out there are perceiving that he was afraid to go to the debate. Or he was upset about it, afraid to face the fire. And I think, Let me ask you in here. my mind personally, I think that's because that's that's what bothered me the most, actually. Okay, Joe, are you a Trumpster or not? No, there's no. I am not. I, I'm a Cruz supporter. Okay. I, I, I'm definitely going for Cruz. Okay, just wanted to get that. I'm, there's no wrong answer here. I'm not. I'm not. Yep, no. it's nothing accusatory. So you, mm-hmm. you 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 think that not doing the debate did hurt uh, Trump, but because people thought that it it looked like he was afraid of Megyn Kelly. I think that's the perception people have, and I, the reason why I say that is because that's the thing that you heard most in the Can, news. You didn't hear about the other things. No, wait, much, wait, you know, like, wait, wait, wait. you got to tell me from who. You're in Orangeburg, New York. Where, where, where are you hearing people in Iowa say they thought that that made Trump look like he was afraid of Megyn Kelly? I, I don't know. I, if, I, I just feel that if I was in Iowa and I saw him bitch on the debate because he was afraid of Megyn Kelly and, okay. and because he was afraid of some article that guy wrote with, you know, Fox uh, on Fox. It, it, w- it would upset me. It would it would definitely af- affect my decision if I was on the borderline with choosing either. Let me give you an alternative. Let me give you an alternative theory. You get your 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 anecdotally speaking. You're, you're, you have your yeah. theory and you think a lot of people agree with it if you could ask them. So let me run yeah. another theory by you. Huh? Let's say that Trump and his people decided there are four points up in the polls, they're winning big, big, big crowds, right. you know what was going on. What if they said, you know what, there's nothing we can gain showing up here tonight, but if we don't, it's going to make Cruz get the center podium, and Cruz is going to be the target. Everybody there is going to hit Cruz, not me, thereby I need to take Cruz out, so let's make Cruz the focal point, the way to do that's for me not to show up. Does that make any sense? I'm just an alternative theory. It does make sense, but I think it was a calculated mistake on his part by doing that. Because if he was there, people love, you know, the people who are Trump uh, supporters love hearing him, love hearing him talk, love hearing him say what he has to say. You know, because he's outspoken and he, you know, says things off the cuff a lot. And I think people missed that and wanted to see that for the last bit. I mean, I'm just speaking from my own heart as far as, like, how I felt about it. I mean, I, I was, like I said, I was going to, I'm voting for uh, Cruz myself. But right, so you should have been happy that he didn't show up. Yeah, well, yeah, I am. Yeah, I was. I actually was. And I, and I you were. Along, and I've been listening to your show, and I've been saying to myself, I, "This is going to hurt him. I think it's really going to hurt him." I All think right. It's gonna well, be the big thing. I'm out of time here. I, I don't mean to be rude, but the clock is the clock. Um. So there it is. Trump didn't show. People thought it made him look like he was afraid. Megyn Kelly or anybody else who was going to attack him that night, and he just didn't want to be. And that's that's. I don't think that's what it was, but. Feel free, folks. we got got two hours left here to discuss that and whatever else. I don't know. I just have a tough time thinking Trump's afraid. There are other, plenty of other times in his campaign he could have bumped out of things because he was afraid. If he was afraid, there are legitimate things to fear out there, I guess. Um, I think other things were at work. You have to be a narcissist. Uh, back in a second here. I mean,